In this video, I'm going to show you why you can throw your Australian Floatron out the window. you how to make a bloom with no house paint and no Australian flow trial in your cell activator and a simple ingredient that just might be messing you up. Let's do this thing. Welcome to the Feel Good Porn Station. This is Garrett Von Art Studio and I'm glad to see you. All right, so I am on a mission to create a new pouring medium that does not involve any house paint and a bloom that does not require any Australian Floatrol. So, I'm going to show you how I made this, make another color. And I am using Mixed Media Girls Pouring Medium and American Floatrol. All right. And a little something else. So, let's get to mixing. So, to start, let me tell you that I'm going to do half pouring medium and half American Floatrol. But I'm going to add one ingredient to thicken it up. So we're just going to take a little out of the out of the cup. OK, uh, just a little bit of the pouring medium. A dollop. Of your super heavy gloss gel, any brand works. I have multiple brands. This is just the one I'm using right now because I am trying to use it up. So. You know, not too much, but what you want to do is you want to mix it in with your pouring medium. So it's easier to mix it in when you have a smaller amount. The more uh, volume, the more mixing and the more uh, the likelihood that you're going to have bubbles. So I'm going to mix this. So this is what it looks like. It's very thick. All right. And now we're going to add more pouring medium. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio, okay? Equal parts are Mixed Media Girl Pouring Medium to American Floatrol. So we're going to mix this in. Okay, so here it is. It does have some bubbles, but that's okay. So I filled it halfway up, all right? It stops right here. And now I'm going to add my Floatrol. And I have a really good consistency. So it's going to appear thin, but we have to add our tube paint, which will thicken it up. Okay, so let's do that. So for a little contrast, I've decided to use my um, Iridescent Bright Gold by Master's Touch. And you just want a good gloop. So one, two, three. All right, maybe just a little more. So three gloops, if you will whatever you want to call it. You have to stay tuned to the end of this video to get all the juicy details of this experiment. It's worth it, I promise. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting on? Gosh. And this pouring medium has a very, very slight white tint to it because of the American Floatrol. But don't worry about that. It will come back to color when you pour it and it dries. But you can see really good consistency. Leaves a mound on a mound. Probably a little bit less than uh, my other pouring mediums. But I think it's going to work out just fine. All right. So here we are going to do our cell activator with no Australian Floatrol. This is American Floatrol. All right. So, three parts. Two. 
to one part paint. Right. To one part distilled water. So we can thin it down. And we're going to use our Men Wax Wood Conditioner. Now, I'm going to get open my window and turn the fan on. This stuff is toxic. Open this stuff outside. You can see I don't use this often. And I literally want 10 drops. I'm just taking my Fluid Art Co. Stir Stick. And I'm just going to drop 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we want to stir this together. Gonna take a little while, but it's worth it in the end. All right, so I want to show you something. You take your stick, scrape it on your cup. If you see immediate what looks to be sales, you should be very, we should be in there, okay? We should be in business. You want to see that immediate reaction when you scrape it, okay? My consistency, okay, is very similar to my Australian Floetrol uh, Titanium White Mix. Also, I prefer... Amsterdam. Will other brands work? Yes, but Amsterdam is known to work the best. I'm not trying, you know, this is already to some extent, extent an experiment. So why add more trouble? Just get the Amsterdam for now. Okay. Titanium white. All right. So let's see if we can get some sales. There's my cell activator. Here are my colors. This is PPG Multi Pro. Ooh, too much, but This is my cell activator. And look at that reaction. The cells popped up immediately. Um, so this recipe works. I might tweak it. I might want it a touch thicker for a slightly slower reaction. But look, our cell activator works. Our new pouring medium works. We have not used any house paint. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. So you said we used house paint for the base. Yes, we did. Let's try it without house paint. Look at there. I'm happy with this. Now you have a pouring medium that does not include any house paint. With a slightly thicker consistency, we can tilt like this without, you know, everything running off so quickly. But 
Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. All right. So this is seven ounces of American Floetrol to three ounces of our Artist Law Soft Body. Three ounces of that. One ounce of our Amsterdam Titanium White. Okay. And one ounce of Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Um, that's to put some gloss back into the paint and to help it stretch. Okay. It's a little bit thinner than my house paint that I normally use. Okay, here we go. Oh, it might have thickened up just a little bit in that little time. Well, I had a visitor at the door, so I had to pause the video, so it's probably been 30 minutes. Okay, so we know it will bloom. Just want to show you that you can make your own base. Uh, your own base. You don't have to use house paint if you don't want to. Because I know it can be confusing. Plus, working all around the world, everyone doesn't have access to Home Depot and Lowe's. Now, one thing. The halo that you normally see with the Australian Floetrol doesn't show up nearly as much and it takes longer to show um so you know but this is a different product so it's made up of different materials so technically we're getting a different reaction all right all right here we go And I'm going to spin. So it's been about mm, 72 hours and you can see the color has come back. Look how vibrant that gold is. All right. And while those days expired, um, I had some leftover paint. And so I decided to do some more blooms, but I altered the cell activated recipe. So if you look here, these are really pretty, but I've noticed that when you get to really stretching out here, you don't you lose a lot of the color in the cell activator. So I wanted to try this same recipe with almost no water. Okay, so here is the results. All right, so I know that I used an additional color. This really wasn't a part of the experiment. It was just like a last minute thing. And I'm like, I need to record this. I need to talk to the people about this. So here. Instead of adding water, I added the original 10 drops of the pre-stained wood conditioner. Then I added 10 additional drops of boiled linseed oil. Do not ask me why I even thought to use this product. It's been sitting at my house. And what I noticed is, yes, my cell activator is thicker, but if you look closely it is much more potent. So the white stretches more and it is definitely a more potent layer of cell activator. Also, 
to me, you get a better overall look. Now, we're slightly comparing apples to maybe, let's say, um, <laughs> another type of apple because I added a dark color. But if you pay attention, the, the cell definition to me is better with a thicker consistency. So I believe, and, and this, is, this is a secret, but it's really not if you've watched my channel. I don't think that you should add water to your cell activator. Very, very little amount. Like I added just like a squirt of water, just like that, to my cell activator versus that whole part. Because the water breaks down the binders and the paints. We're already messing with, you know, a new recipe. We're adding oil in there. Um, but I do think the boiled lime seed oil does uh, keep the cell activator longer because the water version, after a couple of days, it does not activate nearly as well. But the um, the version I added, the boiled um, lime seed oil, it is still activating, okay? And you can see it is a little bit thicker. Um, and so that also leads to a bigger conversation in thickening your paints. If you are using a thicker cell activator, that means your paints will have to be thicker because you need your thickest on the bottom, which is your pillow, um, more thinner towards the middle, and your thinnest on the top. But I think it's worth it. So I hope this experiment was super, super helpful. So with this, I'm going to do one final experiment. I am actually going to use the same paint. Um, it's a couple days old now, but I think it's going to still work. And I'm going to use my Australian Floatron so that we can compare the results. Um, so complete this experiment just for There's my cell activator. This is the Australian flow trawl that we threw out the window. <laughs> and look, we get that same reaction from earlier. See? Remember we talked about that getting that reaction with our um, other flow trial? Same thing. And there's the halo if you're not familiar with what I was talking about earlier. All right, so the reaction is different. It's cleaner, but it's very, very similar. Like, it's really workable. And I feel like I've laid the foundation if you want to keep experimenting. Small changes, y'all. That is the biggest thing of uh, the mistake I see people making. They make big changes when they are on the cusp of creating something great. So you can see the cells do look different, but not that much different, right? All right, so I'm going to spin this out. There we go. Not much difference. There you have it. These are all three of our tiles. And I think that the results are very similar. This is the Australian Floatron. This is the 
Minwax uh, and water mixture. So try this out. Let me know what you find, okay? Teamwork makes a dream work. Let's figure this thing out together. Watch this video next if you want to see my latest and greatest pouring medium recipe. Peace.